Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through my thought process as I make something like this Pokemon Oddish in our processing. So let's start by setting up our canvas. So we're going to give it a size of 600, 600. And you can make yours smaller, but I'm making mine this big because it's easier to see on the screen when I'm recording. I'm going to go ahead and give it a background color of white. And we just test this straight away just to make sure that we're on the right track. It's looking kind of like how we want. I've also got this sketch on the side here where I'm just going to be following along what's happening in the code so you can visually follow along with the thought process as well. Okay, so we've got our coordinates in there. Let's start off by making this body. Now, ellipse works by figuring out what is the center point here. Give it a nose. Um, so how many pixels across in the x co coordinate uh, space do we need to figure out what this point is? Well, if halfway is half of 600, then we know that we can start the body at 300. Then we have to figure out how far down in Y space do we need to put the body. Um, and I think about two thirds is uh, going to be fine for this. So um, that would be 400. So let's go ahead and start off that. We have 300 for the X, 400 for the Y, and then we have to figure out how wide and how tall the body will be. Um, and I'm just going to make a ball uh, part guess. Um, and the beauty of code is you can always go back and change it if it's not working out the way you want it to. So it looks about a third of the way um, across. Uh, so I'm going to put 200 here. Um, and we don't want it completely round because Oddish is a little bit squashed. So uh, maybe 150. And let's give it a test. That looks fine for now, so I'm just going to roll with it. Um, Let's give them a color as well. So if you go to the tools tab, you can look at the color selector and you're able to pick any color you like. There's other ways of picking color, but just for this body, I'm going to pick something using the tool. Um, this looks fine. So you can type in the RGB yourself, but to save time, I'm just going to copy this hex code. And we will use fill. Give it a test. And that looks fine. Okay, let's add in these feet. So the feet are also going to be little ellipses. Um, I could make them circles, but just for the sake of consistency, I'll keep it the same. So let's start by writing ellipse. Then we have to figure out what is this space here. So we need to figure out what is this middle point. And I'm thinking it's about... So I'm, I'm going to use this center point as a reference because I think it's easy to work. Um, if you're working like a symmetrical picture, um, working from a middle point is always good. So I think it's about 50 or 60 pixels away from 300 in this direction, which would make this point here uh, 240. And then in terms of how far up and down it is um, for the Y coordinate, uh, it's probably about... Um, hmm. it's lower than 400 it's maybe let's try 500 okay so 240 500 and then the width and height we can keep the same so it's a, a symmetrical circle um, and let's just try 40 40 for now and that might not work might not look great we can always change it, which is way off center. Okay, so let's try and adjust that. So I'm going to make this 60, 60 to make it um, bigger. And then let's decrease this to 450. Just take 50 pixels off so it moves up. Not quite right again, so let's change it a bit more. 470, maybe 480. Okay, I'm happy. All right, so let's try and mirror this leg on the other side. If this leg was 40, sorry, 60 pixels to the right of 300, sorry, to the left of 300, then this one should be 60 pixels on, to the other, on the other direction, which should be 360, and we'll keep the same uh, Y coordinate, so this one's no longer uh, 500, it's now 480. 
and this one should also be at exactly the same so that they are level. Okay. In fact, we can copy and paste this one because we're keeping uh, the 6060 dimensions and the 480 is all the same. And then we can just change this one to 360 and we should have another leg on the other side. Perfect. Okay, the next step I want to do is these leaves. Now, the way we're doing these leaves, because we have to use primitive shapes, is we're actually making these out of two completely separate triangles. And one of them's going to go behind the body like this. So let's start off with this top triangle here and figure out what this point is. Well, we know we want it to be in the middle. Um, my drawing is a little bit off center, so um, forgive me for that. But we should want it dead center in our picture, uh, 300 pixels across. And then as for how far down we want it to be, um, we don't want it too far off the top. Um, probably only 100 pixels down, so I'm going to start with that. Now, triangle requires three sets of XY coordinates. So we're going to use this point here, this point here, and this point here. So if we put in our first one, we have 310. Oh, sorry, 300, 100. Then we have to figure out how far, far uh, sorry, how far away from the center line do we want to put this point. Um, and because the feet were at 60, I don't want it um, as far as that. I'm going to probably put it about 40 pixels away from the center, which would put this, this point here at 260 um, in the X coordinate. Um, and I don't want it to be halfway across the screen, I want it a bit above, um, it's a little bit further than a third, so 250. Two sixty, two fifty, And then this one, because I'm mirroring it to the other side, um, if this one was 40 pixels away from the center, then this one I want it to be 40 pixels away from the center, it should be 340. And then the same Y, because I want it to be in line and um, in the Y direction. 340, 250. And let's give that a go. Okay, it looks right, but the colors are completely off. So let's give our triangles another color. If I go to the color selector, I can select it this way, but I'm almost certain that I know I want 255 green um, just because I want Odish to have very vibrant leaves. Um, so again, you can copy it here or you can just type in the uh, RGB. There's lots of different ways of using fill and I encourage you to uh, experiment with them all. So let's run that. Looks fine to me. Let's draw the other triangle underneath. I'm just going to make this window a little bit wider so we get to see all of that. Okay, so triangle. Now, to draw this one, we actually already know two of the points of this triangle. So we can get away with copying and pasting this last one and just changing this top point to the coordinates of this bottom point here. So for this bottom point... I think the middle of the body is fine, and um, if it looks wrong, we can always change it, but I think the middle of the body would be a good place to put it. Now, we know the middle of the body is 300, 400, so I'm going to keep that the same. So let's just copy this. I'm going to put 300, 400, and the points we know are exactly the same as the last triangle for the uh, two sides, because we want them to meet, which they do. Now, uh, processing actually works in uh, layers uh, where the first thing you code is going to be the first thing on the screen. Everything else is going to stack on top. So in order to make sure the leaf goes behind, I'm going to just copy this and put it at the beginning. Just after we draw background, but before we draw the body so that it's going to be behind the body. 
We also have this uh, black line, which is separating the, the two triangles, and it kind of ruins the illusion a little bit. So we can actually get rid of that using something called no stroke. No stroke kind of works the same as stroke, um, where you're setting a color, but it just gets rid of the color, makes it invisible. And you can always set back stroke later if um, it's not looking good for you. Cool. Okay, let's add in another leaf. These ones are a bit trickier, so let's figure out what this point is here. Um, well, we know that this, uh, the one above is 340, 250. Um, and we only want it to be maybe 10 pixels away from it. So we can make this a plus 10, plus 10, we'd get 350, 260. So let's start off that triangle. Oops, 350, 260. Okay, then we've got to figure out what is this point here. And similarly, I'm just going to refer how far away is it from this point, and I'm probably going to make it about 50 pixels away diagonally. So 50 to the right, 50 down. Um, so that's going to give us 400, 310. Okay, and then our last point up here, um, I want it to be a lot more further away, um, definitely almost touching the edge here. So let's try 500. Um, and we do want it to be above this 250. So maybe 230. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, and then I'm going to, using the same, uh, using the same technique, um, we already know what these two lines are, so when we're making this, sorry, these two points are, so when we're making this, um, we just have to connect it to the middle of the body, which we already know the coordinates for, um, and it's a fairly similar process. I can write in 300, 400. And I should note that these coordinates, as long as they're paired together, can really be in any order you like. Um, triangle doesn't really need a particular order aside from having um, x, y, point 1, x, y, point 2, etc. So let's have a look at that. Oh, done something wrong. <coughs> I've changed the wrong coordinate. Always tricky with this stuff. Okay, 300, 400. When you've got lots of coordinates like this, it's a pain in the ass to keep track of. This is why I recommend having a piece of paper to work with with you if you're making a um, picture like this because I find just having a sketch to work on on the side always makes it a little bit nicer to work with. Okay, that's fine. Um, I actually might move up this point here a little bit because it's a little bit droopy. Um, and that was the 500 to 30 points. So I'm just going to change that to 10. Just 20 pixels up. Yeah, and that looks fine. Okay, so how do we mirror this to the other side? Well, we know that 300 here is the center. And if we're doing all the X coordinates from 300 onwards, then we just have to figure out what is that distance and apply it to this side instead. So when this one says 350, in fact, I'm just going to copy these two triangles because that's what we're making. We're making two more triangles. So if it's 50 pixels away from 300 to the right, let's make it 50 pixels away from 300 on the left. So that would be 250. 400 is 100 away from 300 on the right. Uh, so let's change that to 200. So it's 100 away from the left. Oh, sorry, 100 away from 300, but towards the left. And the 500, 300, uh, the 300 can stay the same because that's the middle of the body. And the 500 is 200 away, so I'm just going to change that to 100. Cool, and it's mirrored on the other side. Let's finish this off by just adding some eyes. And I'm just going to do them right at the very bottom because we want it to appear on top. I'll change the fill color to a dark red. So it's RGB, um, and if it's not too much red, 
but zero uh, blue, zero green. Um, I'm going to make it something like uh, 80, zero, zero. We should get our dark red. And then we'll have two ellipses probably around the middle. So um, in line with the body, so it would be 400 in the Y direction, but not too far away from the center. So maybe 40 pixels away from that. So three, 300 minus 40 is 260, 400, and then the size maybe 30, 30. And let's do it again for the right eye, where we have 340, 400, 30, 30. And give it a go. Okay, far too dark. Eyes are a little bit big. Let's change this to 140 and make these 20 pixels each. Wide and tall. Okay, I'm satisfied. So there are many things you can do to this to improve it obviously it's just a very simple tutorial but i challenge you if you did want to follow along with this maybe try um, adding in some extra lines down here to make the leaves more detailed or maybe add like a little smile in um, or shine to the eyes or some shadows um, there's definitely lots of ways you can learn using processing and experimenting is one of the best so i encourage you try out some of the things in this video you may have learned um, and look forward to the next one.